Assalamu alaikum. In today's lecture, we shall talk about uh, the power flows and losses in DC machines. Uh, we know that uh, efficiency of a machine uh, denoted by eta is given by the output power of that machine and the power which is supplied to that machine. That is the input power. And if we are interested in percent efficiency, we just multiply it by 100. Uh, this output power in case of machines that is equal to the input power minus the losses which are there in the machine. So the efficiency is given by this expression. Uh, there are multiple sources of losses in DC machines. These are the electrical or copper losses, brush losses, core losses, mechanical losses and stray losses. We shall talk about all these losses very briefly, one by one. So, let's start with the first one. Uh, copper losses, also called uh, the I square R losses. Uh, these are power losses due to resistance of uh, armature windings and uh, field windings. You know that there are uh, copper windings uh, on the rotor of the steam machine uh, and uh, current flows on in these windings. So although copper has very small resistance, but still uh, some power losses are there. Furthermore, in DC machines, you can you may have either permanent magnet or electromagnets. In case of electromagnets, there will be windings on the uh, magnets, and uh, the current uh, flow in th these windings uh, will result into losses. Uh, that is, uh, there are power losses in the armature winding, which is equal to the armature current multiplied by the resist square of the armature current multiplied by resistance of the armature winding. So we have uh, losses in the field winding which is equal to the square of current which flows in the field winding uh, multiplied by the resistance of field windings. Then we have uh, brush losses. Uh, we know that uh, to convert uh, the voltage signal into a unidirectional voltage signal in DC machines, we have an arrangement of brushes and commutator segments. So there is a voltage drop across uh, the brushes and therefore the power losses uh, in uh, power losses that are there in the brushes that is equal to uh, voltage drop across the brushes multiplied by the current which flows through these uh, brushes which is basically the armature current. So this uh, current brush drop. This voltage uh, is uh, almost uh, constant in most of the cases and uh, uh, for a wide range of currents, armature currents is uh, it is approximately equal to 2 volts in uh, DC machines. Then we have uh, core losses. The core losses uh, include the hysteresis losses plus eddy current losses. So hysteresis losses are always there in ferromagnetic material, magnetization and demagnetization of that material uh, that results into orientation and deorientation of domains that results into power losses. And uh, since a rotor is uh, also made up of some conducting material and it is rotating in the uh, magnetic field. so voltages will also be induced in the rotor of the DC machine and therefore currents will start flowing in the uh, rotor. Uh, these currents are called eddy currents and uh, there will be power losses due to eddy currents. To minimize uh, these eddy current losses, uh, we generally laminate the rotor of uh, DC machines. Uh, and uh, in some cases, uh, we even uh, laminate the stator of the DC machine. That is the case when, uh, for example, you want to achieve the speed control of a DC machine, then you will not supply a constant DC voltage, rather that will be some uh, fluctuating voltage, generally pulse width modulated PWM voltage. Uh, so that will uh, result into eddy current losses in the stator as well. So there are hysteresis losses and eddy current losses it has been experimentally found that these losses are proportional to the square of the flux density in the machine and also proportional to 1.5th uh, power of the speed of the rotation of the machine. 
Then we have uh, mechanical losses. Uh, there are moving parts and uh, there is friction between mm -hmm. moving parts. So there is uh, power loss due to friction. And uh, there is also friction between moving parts and the air. That loss is called windage loss. And again, it has been found experimentally that these losses are proportional to the uh, cubic power of the speed of the rotation. And uh, there are uh, other losses which cannot be categor categorized into these uh, things. These uh, losses are called uh, stray losses. These stray losses are generally taken to be approximately equal to 1% of the rated uh, power of the machine. So these are the losses which are there in DC machines. Uh, sometimes uh, we uh, draw the power flow diagrams for uh, electrical machines that gives a little bit more uh, detailed description of the location where uh, these losses occur in the DC machines. So let's uh, draw the power flow diagrams for uh, a DC generator and uh, DC motors. In case of, uh, uh, for example, motor, the input power is the electrical power and that is equal to the product of uh, voltage that is applied to the machine uh, to the motor multiplied by the current that flows into the machine that is the terminal voltage multiplied by the current drawn by the machine that is the load current so the power which is supplied to uh, the motor not all of that is converted into mechanical uh, power uh, some of the power is consumed in the uh, in the resistance of uh, field and armature windings, so copper losses. So supply power, some of it is uh, uh, consumed in the resistance of the windings, and then uh, some of the power is consumed in hysteresis and eddy current losses, which together will card core losses. The remaining power, electrical power, is converted into mechanical power and that uh, power is equal to the torque induced in the machine torque induced multiplied by the speed of the rotation of the rotor of that machine of the motor uh, so this power which is converted into mechanical power not all of uh, that is available at the shaft of the motor some of the power is required to overcome friction and windage losses and uh, there is a category of uh, losses which uh, cannot be uh, accommodated in all these categories. We call these losses as stray losses. And uh, the remaining power is available at the shaft of the motor and that is the output power which is equal to the uh, torque which is applied by the load multiplied by the speed of the rotation of the motor. Uh, a similar power flow diagram uh, can be drawn for uh, generators uh, which is drawn over here. So here is uh, the power flow diagram for a generator which is almost uh, the direction of power flows is almost uh, opposite to this one. Here uh, the supplied power is the mechanical power uh, that is, uh, there is some an ex uh, there is some external arrangement which rotates the rotor of the generator and supplies mechanical power to it. Uh, so the input power, which is mechanical power, that is equal to the torque applied by the uh, turbine which rotates the rotor multiplied by the speed of the rotation of the rotor. So not of all, all of that energy the power is converted into electrical power. Uh, there are uh, some losses which cannot be categorized into all these losses and then there are mechanical losses uh, the power mechanical power which is supplied uh, some of it, it goes to overcome the friction and windage losses and then uh, some of the power uh, goes to overcome the core losses which include the eddy current losses and hysteresis losses the rest of the power is converted into uh, electrical power. Sometimes they also draw this line over here uh, to uh, incorporate uh, the losses over here. Uh, so 
the power which is converted into electrical energy is equal to the armature voltage multiplied by the uh, armature current and then there are power losses in the windings of the uh, armature windings as well as field windings so these losses are called i squared r losses rest of the power is available at the electrical load which is connected to the generator that voltage that power is equal to the voltage across the load and the current which flows in the uh, load uh, connected to that generator